And welcome back to Caesar Man Warrior. And this is another patron roster review. And this is Trouble on Demand from SYN Death Watch. So, what's up, everybody in Death Watch? Now, um, he has been playing, Trouble on Demand has been playing since the beginning of the game. He's a large dolphin, or at least that's what he claims to be. Looking at his roster, he looks a bit like a dolphin. A couple characters he wailed out on, but aside from that, it's average development for someone who's been playing for over three years. Um, really, the only focus he has for this entire video and it is going to take the entire video is Grand Arena either 5v5 or 3v3 and I just put a video out on 3 versus 3 so if you're interested in that take a look at that video but um, we're going to go over all of the different factions and whether you'd use them on defense or offense and then what characters within those factions really need to be focused on there are eight characters that you really need to have in your favorites and maxed out and when you do that you're going to see your grand arena go skyrocketing successfully through there so let's go ahead and move from faction to faction and talk about what looks good and what needs worked on all right first bounty hunters look great you've got a lot of uh characters developed uh, a couple of characters that you're going to probably want to gear up so you get a little bit of viability is dengar finish him off he's a gear 9 almost gear 10 get him to gear 11 at least and Django fett Django fett makes him an amazing alternate leader for offense if you decide to use these guys offensively until then though you're going to use them as a defensive team uh their best worked as a defensive team and you've got a lot of great development but the two in this that you're going to want to focus on is Django and the gear for Django and Dengar and the gear for Dengar. Now the next team are the Imperial Troopers. They're, they kind of come out of Empire, but specifically, more specifically, Imperial Troopers. And of all of them, they start to look really, really good. You've got them gear 11. You even got General Veers as Zeta, but Range Trooper is kind of the missing link. He brings durability back with, you know, protection regeneration and a tons of additional damage through all the calls to assist. And so Range Trooper Trooper is absolutely critical. I would put him in place a shore trooper on an Imperial Trooper team. Use him on offense, and then you can use shore trooper on defense or on a different offensive team, such as if you're trying to go against Night Sisters, you could use shore trooper to heal an Empire team or something like that. But for now, uh, I would definitely focus on Range Trooper. He's the third character that I've told you about that you should be gearing. Django, Dengar, and now Range Trooper. I just wanted to glance at your Ewoks. They look good. You don't need to do anything to them. They're amazing. In fact, you've got the, them Zated out. And what's really funny is with them a Zated out like this, you can use them on offense or or defense. As long as you have a fast pop loo, you can take about anything out. They're pretty insane. I probably wouldn't try them against uh, Revan or Treya teams, although I have seen them win, but I would uh, use them for basically anything else on offense. Or if you really want to skunk an individual on defense, put them on defense. You'd be surprised at how many people don't know the kill order when they're going against a Zated Ewok team. So this team has a lot of viability. Again, I just wanted to glance. You don't need to do anything now with your first order. The top five look just fine. You could develop first order stormtrooper, but I'm not suggesting it. It is a great addition and you could replace first order type pilot with another tank. But I just wanted to glance. You've got the right Zetas. You've got, you know, characters to gear 11. So excellent on first order. All I'm going to say is that first order would be a great standardized defense team, but you can use first order on offense against um, either scoundrel teams, some of the newer old Republic teams they work pretty well against, or you can use them in a mirror match against another first order. All right. Now, obviously Jedi can be used on offense or defense. In fact, you have enough Jedi, you can do two teams and you could do a Basilisk Shan leadership, uh, defensive team with Basilisk Shan and Kanan Jarrus and Ezra Bridger, and, you know, and old Ben uh, and Beresafi or Hermit Yoda and have that kind of as a as a team. Um, but you could also have Jedi Knight Revan on defense as well with Jedi Knight Revan and Yoda and Jolie and General Kenobi. And then you could throw in someone like Ayla Sakura or Hermit Yoda. You got plenty to have two teams and you could set both teams on defense or you could set one on defense and have one on offense. Personally, what I do is I set Bastila Sean lead on defense and Jedi Knight Revan teams on defense because the both Jedi teams are extremely durable and what it does, even if they beat both teams, it forces them to use meta counters on both of these teams and they have to make sure they save two meta counters and these guys are not going to get 
max points because you know you're going to wear down the opponents with these teams and they're not going to be able to get all max points because of all the protection loss and possible character loss that they do. But all in all, your Jedi look amazing. Another team that looks really, really amazing is Knight Sisters. I just wanted to glance again. Again, you can use them on offense or defense. If you're going to use them on, on um, offense, I would suggest a, an Asajj Ventress lead with Mother Talzin, Zombie, Old Daka, and actually Spirit. Spirit can dispel and do a ton of damage, so I would finish your Spirit. I would make that a, a priority on this team. It's the only one left to really prioritize. You could also finish off Knight Sisters Zombie just to bring about a tiny bit more durability, but not super critical. Night Sister Spirit, though, amazing. You would love her. So get her to seven stars and get her geared up, and you're going to see some amazing things. You can use this team, though, on offense or defense. If you put it on uh, defense, you could always put a Mother Talzin lead with Old Daka, Zombie, Asajj. And again, you could either put in, you know, Spirit or you could put in General Kenobi. A lot of people are putting in Nest in this team on defense because then people can't bring in their bounty hunters or their troopers to kind of run these guys over. Um, Nest really shuts down a lot of that. So just something to consider, but all in all, your Night Sisters look like they're ready to go. Now, Old Republic's one of my newest favorites, and there's three characters out of here that I would highly recommend that you develop. And the first is Zalbar, second is Mission. You've got them seven stars, so all you need to do is gear them up. Uh, you'll eventually Zeta Mission and then Zeta Zalbar and then the leader for this, for now, can be Kira. But um, when you get Karth Onassi, I would get him leveled up because uh, even at three or four stars, a Zeta lead, even if he dies, the Zeta lead goes on throughout the rest of that battle. And they recover health and protection. And he is the least of your worries when you're going against this team. So, And plus, it's hard to get to him because every time someone hits him, Zalbar taunts. And so they ultimately have to kill Zalbar. Super annoying, but they're there's dots going up, and so everybody's recovering health and protection under Karth. Karth Onassi is in the bottom row, basically one of the best characters to place on the team. I actually use Candorous Ordo as well, and both Candorous and Karth are both only four star gear 11, and I have Karth's leadership Zeta. But bigger than that, big picture, Old Republic is going to be used in future events, I'm sure of it. And so these characters are going to need to be developed anyway for a future event. And we're going to continue to find and explore and develop new teams with all of these characters. With Rebels, the only real thing I see is that your seven-star C-3PO is gear nine. I'm sure he's in your favorites, and I'm sure you're working on him, but definitely want to continue developing C-3PO, both gear and ability-wise. He's got two Zetas. The Zeta that gives the double confusion, that's the one you want to do first, unless you're going to run him with um, R2-D2, and then the other Zeta would be... Uh, important there. But the other one that gives the double confusion stack is probably the most important. And with Rebels, you've got a ton of offense and defense teams. I prefer to leave Commander Luke and Chewbacca and Han Solo on offense, and you can mix them with like a Chirrut and Baze, and you can take out basically anything with that durable team. Pretty crazy. Uh, Baze will eat, isolates, and he's he's durable, and Chirrut can put Tenacity up, and um, he's got burst damage, and Chewbacca and Han Solo's damage, and Luke's damage are crazy, depending upon how you mod, but these guys can really chew through any team. C-3PO can add to that chaos and by, by adding him into the team. And really, it's amazing what you can accomplish with him. So lots of different rebel teams you could put on offense or defense. Really, if you were going to put a team on defense, I would probably put your Phoenix on defense. But even then, you've got so many other great defensive teams. I don't really suggest using your Phoenix for defense. Your resistance look amazing. You're really ready to go there as well. Again, C-3PO being resistance and rebel, you'll want to max him out. But aside from that, the rest of them look really, really good. You might find that you want to diversify and have two teams have like a Finn lead for offense and have a Jedi training Ray on defense. If you choose to do that, then you're probably going to want Amalyn Holdo 
for the offensive team or for the defensive team as a tank. And so you're going to want to consider possibly leveling and gearing her up. You don't need her Zeta at all, but seven star gear 11, and she's actually really good. She has one of the highest protection pools in the entire game. So she's super durable. She has an AOE days, which is one of only like five characters that have an AOE days, which is really amazing. It's like Nest and Wampa have those and uh, same with Darth Maul. And so Amelin is actually really, really good at shutting down teams. Like if you're going against a CLS that's on defense, you could use this resistance team and she could help daze them to prevent from all of the insane counters that you might have to discover. And the last team uh, or teams uh, that could come out are going to be a couple of Sith teams. There's a couple different options, but Darth Treya with the Triumvirate, um, you know, you can combine with Sith Trooper and Sith Assassin or Sith Trooper and and um, you could put Count Dooku in that team. Really, really great. I like uh, Treya um, underneath Emperor Palpatine, or you could do Darth Treya with Emperor Palpatine underneath her. Personally, though, I like to use Emperor Palpatine on offense. And so if you don't use him on defense, use him on offense. And Bastila Sean Fallen is one of those you can use if you're going to use your Treya team on offense, she would go into that offensive team, but you've got to gear her up. Um, she's got to be a little higher than gear eight. Um, she's really more utilitarian and you can put a bunch of protection on her to try and keep her around, but definitely gear her up. And when she becomes obviously farmable, you can farm her, but the you know, Sith are looking really pretty good. And really Bastila Sean is the only one that I would highly suggest. And again, just like resistance, you can make offense and defense teams or rebels. You can make offense or defense teams. You can also make offense and defense teams with the Sith. And I do have a video that's already come out on Grand Arena three versus three. So if you want some ideas, I've got like 20 ideas out on that video for Grand Arena three versus three. Go check that out. So Trouble on Demand, you're doing really well. I love everything that you have developed for uh, being here since the beginning. You've got the big picture as a dolphin. You've really ran after and chased the meta teams that need to be had. Um, you've got lots of teams for defense and offense, and you've got lots of filler teams that you can put on defense as well. Those eight most important characters you do need to focus on though is gearing up Django Fett and Dengar and gearing up Range Trooper and Bastila Fallen, finishing gearing C-3PO, and then gear up uh, Karth and Zalbar in mission. And then of course, with the Zetas, um, any of the Zetas that we mentioned earlier would be important to do. Hopefully this helps focus you out. If anybody has any ideas for Trouble on Demand, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, keep your gaming on. Warrior out.